Awake. Shake dreams from your hair, my pretty child, my sweet one. Choose the day and choose the sign of your day, the day's divinity, the first thing you see. A vast radiant beach and a cool jeweled moon. Couples naked race down by its quiet side, and we laugh like soft mad children, smug in the woolly cotton brains of infancy. A little Jim Morrison to get the day started, right? That song's called, oh, those lyrics were from a piece called The Ghost Song. Isn't that weird? So I was sitting out here in the little man cave. It's a man cave, and then it's, it's it's all natural structures, trees and bushes and grass grown up into like a little cave. I really wasn't calling it a cave, but the kids, the children, come out here. And they, you know, they I found a lot of their toys out here in my little cave, and uh, we asked them where they been. Well, you know, we went out to the cave. So, you know, they gave it a name without even really knowing the name. So it's like, you know, it really is a cave-looking structure. But it's all natural wood and leaves. But I got a feeling that here in a few weeks, that won't be as big of a thing, right? Especially with fall coming on. Quick and heavy. I can already feel the, not feel, but see the leaves as they fall. I can already see the work involved in it as well. <laughs> but the thing, you know, yesterday was a very busy day for me. And I was spending a lot of time with family and friends, and I uh, <clears throat> and doing work, you know, the projects for the week. And I really haven't had much time to explore much, other than the, you know, there's been a burning question that's been kind of going through my mind. I think I got the answer to it when I came and sat down at the man cave today. And that is, uh, you know, um, yeah, I was like, I was like very elementary. I didn't just, it just kind of blurted out of me before I even thought about it for a second. I was like, you know, thinking about Florence and, you know, all of these tropical storms and hurricanes going on. And I was like, well, how in the world did the ancient people, you know, get away from that man just imagine if a hurricane you know like florence or katrina or something came through and and obviously it had to have had come through at some point in time when you know ancient people were living in the americas i mean i know it happens in other places as well but i'm just going to take this one for example because i know the geography but you know what what happened i mean how did they survive all that i mean what you know because you know, it's, it was a different world. We're more, uh, you know, you know, metal and steel now. Of course, I don't know that it's really that good. There's a lot of you know, debris everywhere in your big pieces. So that may not have been much of a factor. And, of course, you know, it's like, you know, I was the next thing I was, it came out of my mind right after I thought, well, how did they know? And of course, you know, they had people, you know, that were like, you know, uh, you know, quote unquote, medicine men and such, but you know, I don't think it's like this guy, crazy guy necessarily that ran around with a real short little romp on, you know, speaking crazy words. But I believe they were, you know, quote unquote, scientists, technologists, you know, of their time and place and cultural sense. So, you know, anyway, so I walked on out here as I was insinuating and I sat down for just one second. And I heard a crow go, caw, caw. And I thought, well, that's it right there. Because the birds probably, and the animals, I remember hearing that before, like with the uh, tsunami. They were getting out, of the, getting out of the way, but I mean, how far can they get? I guess they could get a long ways if they really wanted to, if they, had a, if they sensed it far enough back. But if they just sensed it when it was a mile out, you know, they'd be like, oh, well, you know, they're not getting too far. You know, a big tidal surge coming in at 12 feet. And, uh, you know, it's going to change some things. I've heard, you can hear and read stories about there being 
titles much bigger than that. Weighs 30 feet. <coughs> Excuse me. Coming in. That's got to be uh, scary. That, I don't, that's weird. Just think about how that happens in the first place. It's weird. You know, with hurricanes and, you know, um, you know, you, you know, it's like some kind of a disturbance somewhere causes this. Who knows what sparks it? They have that what they call uh, the butterfly or the Mandela effect. I think that's what it is. I think it's no, it's not the Mandela effect. The Mandela effect is where the, it seemed like something else happened in it, and then he really didn't. I think it's the Mandela effect. They thought he died, but he really didn't, or maybe he did. <laughs> the spirit toy will say. But the butterfly effect is is like a a butterfly waves his wings, you know, flops his wings, whatever, in Arkansas, and there is a, uh, you know, a tsunami in China. You never know. You know, I, you know, there's, there's, I've studied weather to see some things happen. You know, like, there's always fronts and weather going on everywhere. But somehow, something may happen to get one going faster than the others. And then, you know, you know, who knows what happens? I don't know. I don't understand it. What would spark a hurricane? I mean, I've sat there and watched uh, tornadoes. You know, they were like, it was sideways. It was vertical. And then, uh, no, excuse me, it was horizontal. And then it just kind of sit there. and zzzz. I was out in bean fields out in uh, the eastern part of Arkansas, uh, Ashley County. <clears throat> and watch them. Yeah, they would sit there and just, just they'd go horizontal. And then they'd just kind of go down a little bit, about 30 degrees. And then if it got down there to more of a vertical perspective, you know, it would turn into a tornado. A lot of times it would not. But it was really weird because it was just in one part of the sky where it was occurring. And I didn't really see anything spectacular there. You know, of course, with human eye, you probably couldn't. But there was a lot of wind circular motion there. You know, things go unabated, I guess. I don't know. I don't understand. You know, nature in itself is unabated. There's nothing controlling it. You know, theoretically, you know, you don't see anything that is. So this crazy weather that begins out of nowhere. But there's something to it that recognize. Animals recognize, or they say they could. You know, that was the thing with, um, with that... There was a huge tsunami back in about 2005. It was four, five, six, three, two. I don't know. It was somewhere around the same time as Katrina, but it was in, um, where was that at? Was it the Philippines? Somebody can correct me on that. I don't know where that was at. Well, anyway, I just know that there was like 240,000 people killed. 240,000 people killed. So obviously they didn't have any kind of a warning. They didn't know it was going to hit them. It was going to hit them. <clears throat> but that's interesting, right? Now, how, how do how do they how did the ancient American people figure it out? Did they really watch the animals that close? Was there a medicine man that was, you know, had his ear to the ground and such, watching things and said, "Hey, man, you know, there's a bad thing in the sea out there. I don't know how to describe it other than it's going to be here, real." You know, here in a couple of days, and we need to get as far inland as we can. I'm guessing that's what happened. And if it didn't happen, well, you know, Katie barred the door. You lose your wife and kids and grandkids and all that. So there had to be some kind of a warning system. Had to be. But what was it? Well... I only have questions. My God, it's so nice out today. The temperature is just right in this little man cave. There's a spider above me up there crawling around. It's kind of like the Bob Marley song, too. The sun is shining. The weather is sweet. Makes you want to move your dancing feet. Have fun. Be safe.